Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my new toy. This is the Super X Mini Quad from Hobby King. It has a multi V board inside, and according to the forum and online, a lot of us have problems arming the speed controllers. So basically, even when you flash the codes into the multi V board, the motors would not spin up because the ESCs or the speed controllers just simply could not arm. Now I'm going to show you how to program the right codes. In order for the ESCs to arm properly, I realized that there are a few values that you have to change in the codes. Here I open the config.h file and basically I define the minimum throttle to 1110. The reason for doing so is because in the multi V configuration tool, I could see that with throttle stick all the way down, zero throttle, I'm getting 1119. So this is very close to that value, but it's less than that. With full throttle stick, in the multi V configuration tool, I'm getting 1995. That is within the limit here, so I'm leaving the default 2000 for the max throttle. Now the next important thing is you have to make sure the minimum command value is set correctly. This is the value to initialize your ESCs. So basically I have 1100 as well, the same as my minimum throttle. You want to make sure that the actual minimum throttle and maximum throttle that's transmitted to your multi v board are within the range that you set here. After changing the config.h file, you go to the multi v.h and look for the minimum throttle and the max throttle and you change those values there and make them the same as in the config.h. Now to calibrate all the four ESCs at once, there's a way to do that. In the config.h file, if you scroll all the way down, you could see this statement. By default, it's commented, so I remove the comment, compile it, and upload it, flash it to your multi V board. After you have done that, unplug it from your computer, turn on the transmitter first, and bring the throttle stick all the way to the top max throttle. Then power on your quadcopter. You hear a beep. After one second, bring down the throttle stick all the way down, and you could hear all your four ESCs initialized at the same time. After you have initialized all the ESCs, you need to get back to the codes here and put back the command. Otherwise, your quadcopter will not be able to fly. Command back these codes compile and upload again to your multi v board and then you're good to go okay the last thing that I've done is to assign an auxiliary switch OS1 I set it to arm the ESCs when it's at the high position as you can see here in my multi v configuration software so when I flip my gear switch to high, that will arm all the four ESCs. I know there are other ways like moving the yaw stick to the full right, but that didn't work for me, I don't know why. So I use an auxiliary switch instead. Now the next thing I'm going to share with you is how to configure failsafe for your mini quad that's running the multi V, so that when you are out of radio range, your quadcopter won't just stop running and fall down from the sky because basically you want it to land safely and the way to do that is to program a failsafe over here I have the config.h file open again and basically this statement is commented I remove the two double slash to enable this statement now for the delay I leave it at 20 that's about one second before the failsafe will kick in as soon as you lose the radio signal and then for the 
fail safe of delay this is how long your fail safe is going to last basically how long the motors will keep on spinning you got to plan an estimated landing time in my case I set it to 80 which is 8 seconds so basically the quad should have 8 seconds to descend and after 8 seconds all the motors will shut off and it will drop down to the ground and for the fail safe trotter this is the value that you want to set it so that it descends gradually the minimum trotter if you recall mine is 1100 so you will have your own value already defined and this is the magic number how do I arrive with this magic number well basically you have to hover your quadcopter and just bring down the throttle stick a little bit and you could see that it's descending gradually with that turn off your transmitter but do not touch the throttle stick bring it back to the multi V configuration tool with your quadcopter hook up to it and turn on the transmitter in the multi V configuration tool you could see the what's the throttle value of that stick position and that value would be the perfect or the magic number you need to have a graceful descent rate and in my case is actually 343 I took that value and I minus my minimum trotter and I arrive at 343. Now the next parameter is how do you make the fail safe kick in. Basically this is the detect threshold. Uh, to show you what I mean basically if you go to the multi V configuration tool so you could see that with my transmitter turned on my throttle value is actually 1074 but when I turn off my transmitter my throttle value is 1070 by any chance if your transmitter is turned on and you have the same value it's not going to work so you have to adjust your throttle curve minimum position make sure that it is slightly higher you could increase the first point on your throttle curve by 5% it's not going to spool up your rotos but at least it makes it different a different value from the value where your radio is turned off so coming back to the codes I then define the threshold to be 1072 because anything less than 1072 will effectively kick in the fail safe and will land my quad copter safely. Alright, here's the moment of truth. I'm turning on my radio. Next, I'm turning on the quad copter. I'm running a 750mAh one cell. Okay, let it rest for the three axis gyros to initialize. The blue light is flashing. Okay, once the blue light flashing disappears, I'm going to turn on the auxiliary switch, which I've assigned to arm the ESCs. This is my gear switch. There you go, the blue light leads up. so it should work let me trot up yep okay this arm yep so try different flight modes it's this arm arm it back Okay, now I'm going to test the fail safe. Just put it back in normal mode. I have the acro mode and the the other mode with the barometer. So this one is without the barometer. Still in the arm state. I'm going to spool up. Okay, now I'm going to test the fail safe by switching off the transmitter. 
you recall, I have programmed the failsafe to kick in when the transmitter is turned off, and I have 8 seconds for the landing sequence. Power off the radio. Hear that? Okay, 8 seconds. Yep. So it works. I re regain the radio control and it should work as per normal. Yep. Alright, success. And the next step is to turn this into a uh, little nano FPV ship. See you next time and thank you for watching.